Today we're talking about the reflex ball. This is something you guys have not seen. You want to make your own after watching me in action. You can check out the link up there. I've already done a video on how to construct your own. But today is more just me training. I haven't pulled this guy out since I made that last video, but I still every once in a while enjoy testing my reflexes, seeing if I still got it. And the last time I showed you guys a demo, it was hips up because I didn't have this new little setup. So today, we're gonna be able to see the feet, see the footwork that I put in. I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks that I've utilized and hopefully it will either inspire you to make your own reflex ball or it'll give you some new things, some new challenges if you've already been at it for a while but kind of went, oh, you know what? I'm getting bored. There's nothing else to learn. There are always challenges, new ones that we can learn with these. So guys, just follow along, have fun, see what kind of tips you can pick up and I'll walk you through what I'm doing. So I like to oftentimes just start off and get one hand going. And sometimes even getting it started is tricky. So if I'm here and I let it hang, it's a tricky way to start it. I just kind of throw it out. And then from there, I get going. I have my dominant hand starting because it's easier for me to control. And you guys will probably notice I fold my wrist just a little bit, a little tiny fold until I get up at full height and then I can straighten my wrist out. Once you get that going, you start alternating between arms. You can tell right now my footwork is not really anything fancy. I'm just basically standing stationary and I'm even just in a parallel stance. The harder you hit it, the more action you're going to get, the more exciting it gets. So I always start off nice and chill. You guys, if I come square onto you, can tell that the ball moves around quite a bit. You're going high and low and high and low. That's what makes it challenging. Now, what I like to end up doing is getting into my proper stance eventually. This means that when I throw my jab, I have to make sure I'm ready for the quick reach chamber because I've got a little more distance on it. And I'm just working away. You have to really keep your thumbs tucked, otherwise they end up hooking. So tight thumbs, no lazy fists. Now, as I get going, I start adding just a little bit of movement, just a little bit of footwork forward and back. That makes things more difficult for sure. And then, I like to try and snatch the ball out of the air. So instead of always hitting it, I have to go, okay, I'm going to open my hand, and I'm going to catch it. And I throw it back out, and I can catch it. I'm much better at catching with my right hand. When I try my left, often I miss. No, I got it that time. So I just work around. That's kind of fun to do. You're just you're know, working away. Obviously, I can pick the pace up, just like so. Don't let the ball have as much time to get close to my face. And then, whoop, lost it there. It happens, and then once I get it going, again, I'll try and catch it. I haven't done it in a while, so my timing is a little off on this quicker speed here. Whoop. There we go. Let's see if I can pick it up again. And then snag, 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 left hand. All right, now, that's fun, but we still haven't got to the tricky, tricky part. What I also like to do is use footwork for angling off. When I take that angle, it would be like somebody attacking me straight on. I could use this footwork for front kick comes. Cut the angle. Guy advances, he's like a bull, he's coming for it. Cut the angle. They throw a straight punch. I roll with it. With so many reasons that I can utilize this footwork where I slide. If I slide backwards, the ball is gonna pass through. When it passes through, if I don't do anything, it'll just end up sort of failing. Gravity takes over and it just kind of bloop, falls against my chest. Then you have to start all over again. So what you want to do is, as it passes you, and it comes back, you hit it again. You keep the momentum going. No pausing. So I'm working away. Cut that angle when I'm ready. And then I get my ball right back up in the air. And then you can start trying to do multiple ones in a row. This is really good for sharp, fast footwork. Hit it. Hit it, boom. And definitely, you're gonna take a tennis ball to the face of it eventually. I've done it multiple times, but you also do learn how to roll. And speaking of that, what you can also do is add a little shoulder roll in. I'm working away, I go, oh, okay, I'm just gonna let the ball come back to my head. Shoulder roll, and then right back to punching. Shoulder roll, right back to punching. This time I do a full movement. And sometimes you're just gonna chase that ball around. So you add your footwork in, you add those little steps, you add the little shoulder roll occasionally, 
you pick your speed up, and it all becomes quite exciting, quite fun to do. Not too bad considering it's the first time I've done this in about six, seven months when we made that last video. A little demo of playing around with this ball. Is it the most important training element? You know, shadow boxing, bag work, pad work, partner drills, sparring, absolutely not. This is way low down on the list, but it is fun. It is nice to mix things up. Sometimes I use drills like this for fun. And then sometimes I like using it for the eyesight. I'm like, you know what? My eyesight's being a little off. I feel a little blinky. I'm just gonna really focus on a laser eyesight and not letting those eyelids shut. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the little demo of the reflex ball in action. What I'm gonna do, I think, is start picking this up a little more again because my skills felt a little bit rusty, more rusty than I'd prefer after that amount of time off. So hopefully next time I do a little demo for you guys, it'll be on point, sharp, and even faster. And if you guys haven't checked out how to make one yet, I'll throw down in the description box a link to that video so you can go and make your own. It's very simple, it's a tennis ball, uh, something on the inside of the tennis ball to hold it in place. All you need is one of your hats, and this tiny little band here, which is just so easy to find. So that's all for me today, guys. Train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.